Homeward Bound, March 4. It's your choice. Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. Joshua 24, verse 15. All who refuse to give themselves to God are under the control of another power. They are not their own. They may talk of freedom, but they are in the most abject slavery. They are not allowed to see the beauty of truth, for their minds are under the control of Satan. While they flatter themselves that they are following the dictates of their own judgment, they obey the will of the Prince of Darkness. Christ came to break the shackles of sin-slavery from the soul. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. The law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus sets us free from the law of sin and death. In the work of redemption there is no compulsion. No external force is employed. Under the influence of the Spirit of God, we are left free to choose whom we will serve. In the change that takes place when the soul surrenders to Christ, there is the highest sense of freedom. The expulsion of sin is the act of the soul itself. True, we have no power to free ourselves from Satan's control. But when we desire to be set free from sin, and in our great need cry out for a power out of and above ourselves, the powers of the soul are imbued with the divine energy of the Holy Spirit, and they obey the dictates of the will in fulfilling the will of God. The only condition upon which our freedom is possible is that of becoming one with Christ. The truth shall make you free, and Christ is the truth. Sin can triumph only by enfeebling the mind and destroying the liberty of the soul. Subjection to God is restoration to one's self, to the true glory and dignity of humanity. The divine law to which we are brought into subjection is the law of liberty. The Pharisees had declared themselves the children of Abraham. Jesus told them that this claim could be established only by doing the works of Abraham. The true children of Abraham would live as he did a life of obedience to God. They would not try to kill one who was speaking the truth that was given him from God. In plotting against Christ, the rabbis were not doing the works of Abraham. A mere lineal descent from Abraham was of no value. Without a spiritual connection with him, which would be manifested in possessing the same spirit and doing the same works, they were not his children. The Desire of Ages, pages 466 and 467. 